Right guys, so I just got to one of my favorite motorcycle showrooms, CF Moto. It's quite popular out there. And when I showed you the CF TRG1250, I also briefly showed you the CLX uh, right there. And I'm seeing the adventure version here. It comes with spoke wheels. Um, front wheel size 11080 rim 18. And the regular is, where is it? Let's see, 11080 rim 18. So wheel size is the same, but there are a, bit, a few differences. So the radiator for the regular CLX is not protected, but the one for the Adventure is obviously protected with some sort of a plastic. Yes, it's plastic. And spoke wheels up front. And I feel like the forks on the Adventure version are much golder than the regular CLX. I think you can see it on the camera as well. It's just not my eyes. The camera shows it as well. Uh, other than that, the dash is very similar or probably the same so as the CLX Adventure right there ADV and you can see it on the inscribed on the tank and on the rear you have these side racks I'm not sure maybe CF has its own in-house panniers for the Adventure version whilst the regular version CLX doesn't have that to my eyes, it seems like the Adventure sits a little bit higher. Um, these two right here, one, two, are the regular versions and the Adventure is the one over there. Now if you look here, to my eyes, it looks like the Adventure is a little bit raised, the seat is a little bit higher and the whole bike is generally a little bit higher. And what else do we see? Oh yeah, and it looks like the handlebar on the Adventure is a bit more raised. If you can see from here, it seems a little bit higher than the regular one. So overall, I think the um, Adventure version is jacked up, but they are, they are both 700cc uh, engines. And you can see the front fender that of the Adventure is much higher, kind of like what KTM has because CF, KTM bikes in China are made in the uh, CF factory so uh, there's a lot of, um, you can see bits of similarities between CF and KTM and if you look on the regular one, it's just a regular mudguard but this one is a little bit raised so it tells me that suspension travel on the Adventure one might be a bit uh, longer than the regular one, which is a normal thing for adventure bikes. Uh, besides that, I don't see much difference. They're basically uh, the same bike. So, yeah, the adventure version is definitely much higher and jacked up than the regular version.